Hi, my name is Jose Suarez. I'm the Communications Director for One Miami. And today we've actually brought a lot of our supporters out to the CPC Speakout um, hosted by the Congressional Progressive Caucus. And our goal is to um, send the members of Congress with one clear message, and that is that we need good paying jobs for hard working families here in Dade County. I'm sure that many people are aware of how um, uh, difficult the unemployment and the economic situation is in Miami. I think we're one of the hardest hit in the nation. The job situation is bleak here. While there is a little bit of job growth, most people are seeing themselves having to do with much less. Uh, some of our supporters here will give stories from being unemployed for over a year to actually um, um, having to take you know more than 50% a 50% cut in hours in their current jobs. And so a lot of these people are caught between a rock and a hard place in that. You know, they're not getting a lot of assistance from the government. They don't qualify for Medicaid. They can't afford insurance because they actually have to make a decision of putting food on the table, food on the table, or having something that right now they consider a luxury, like health insurance. And so that's what you know our supporters are here for today. And we've brought, you know, I think you'll see that we've brought a boatload to this event. And I think the message will be loud and clear. Let me ask you a question. I, I heard a statistic recently that Miami is one of the poorest cities in the nation. Yeah, that is. And um, as a matter of fact, the other day I was listening to um, one of the news talk show radios, and I think it's pretty um, um, well known that Miami actually has around a 24% unemployment. And as you and I know, those are, those are the ones being counted. Those don't include the ones not being counted. Right. And so, you know, we also have some pretty big corporations here that get some pretty big tax breaks. And, you know, we're asking companies like Carnival Cruise Lines and, and Wells Fargo that actually got money back after making $16 billion last year. Um, you know, we're asking them to also do the right thing and pay their fair share. We know that they're not breaking the law, per se, but we are asking them to be responsible corporate citizens and help Miami out of the situation that it is and provide our community with good, sustainable jobs. Thank you so very much, sir. Thank you for coming. Sustainable.